hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how to export your gratis events to any a uh, webhook site or your custom endpoint where you can actually get the events and show the events and these events uh, are mostly related with your application status like if your application is restarting frequently then if the status is uh fresh loop back off or zero zero m killed or uh, error also uh, any kinds of uh errors that are not related uh with running a status so these kinds of critical events can be monitored so like an example uh, if your production application uh, is, is restarting somehow like for memory issue or cpu issue you will instantly get the events if you have actually set it up like this like if if you uh, made an application or made an endpoint that can actually a uh, uh get the events so this event explorer tool will actually post the events to your endpoint and you can um uh later set it up like you can uh send the events to to your email or any kinds of chat like microsoft teams or slack so so you can get the notification instantly that your application is not a good position or it's not in running status so then actually uh, instantly take your stats so yeah there are a lot of tools there already like you can um, set up Grafana Prometheus and Sentry to uh, track the events or you can set up ELK stack uh, but uh, this Kubernetes event exporter is the easiest one to install and set up. So let's start. Uh, 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 so for this, I'm using Helm. So there is a Helm chart of this Kubernetes event exporter. So uh, I have already posted a tutorials uh, on my blog. So uh, if you want to get any kinds of tutorials related with devops tech and programming you can subscribe to my blogs um you can just enter your email and hit the subscribe button so whenever i post an important tutorial you will get it instantly so let's just start so at first i will add the helm repo here Okay, so I have added it and it's already uh, exists here so it's escaping but if you are actually adding this repo uh, right, uh, in new position you you will actually get it like uh, the Vietnamese repository has been added and uh, then you, oh, you can just install the Kubernetes event exporter and later you can actually uh, change it like the values file so at first we are installing it okay so let's check yeah you can see the Kubernetes event exporter is running and uh, Right now we will uh, create a endpoint, a test endpoint. You can get it on this site, Webhook.site. You can create any custom endpoint here so that um, just for testing. So you can actually post your events to this endpoint. So we have created the endpoint. 
let's extract the values at first so here the well extracted value location is the ten folder but we will extract here and yes it has been extracted okay um then actually you need to paste 10 point here and then we will upgrade it so in the config section you can paste it but for simplicity there are many options here you can see uh, but we we are not going to use this right now for simplicity we are removing it and pasting the exact settings that we need so you can copy these settings from here and you can just paste it on your values file so we can copy the endpoint and Actually, in this endpoint, the all of the events will be posted. So this one is endpoint, and uh, this one is for testing. But you can actually create your own backend endpoint, and then you can use it here. And also, you can create and for create a front end where you can develop a fancy dashboard, and you you can just show the show your status show your application and. Uh, and the events on the front end dashboard uh, so that uh, that will be a great tool for your uh, observability i i i think so uh, finally we can upgrade it so let's So here yeah, the location is not same directory that's why we are removing this and hit enter all right the helm repo is being updated and we can check now yeah you can see it's 14 second like it's it has been recently updated and let's actually delete something or restart something so i'm gonna restart okay yeah you can see there are already post messages coming that's actually related with Kubernetes even exporters so yeah you can see I have restarted the tempo parts some of the tempo parts and you can see there are actually a lot of crash to back off and it's all the it's uh some of the ports are running but for tempo uh it's it's actually total disaster i can say and it's all crash loop back off so we can check what's happening here uh yeah in tempo ingester that i i actually restarted so you can say the 
reason here what's happening with back of we started and you can see the message are actually coming you can see here readiness pro failed that's the reason actually uh, because it cannot connect uh, actually it's not getting 200 from the readiness endpoint that's why so it's crash it's, it's crashing actually and you can see here the one of the sentry part is showing that mount volume failed uh, it's not actually mounting the config map so somehow the configuration is faulty um, that's that's why sentry scuba sentry snuba that's the, that's a config map and that has not been mounted uh, with the part so it's actually showing failed mount error so you, you can get here the reason why it's actually failing uh, in so yeah you if there, this is a actually um everything uh that are stored in the Kubernetes events and um, you can actually debug uh easily by analyzing Kubernetes events so yeah um you can try it and um if you are facing any problem then uh, you can comment in this video uh, i will attach the blog link from where you can actually get this config settings and all the commands um so yeah thanks for watching this video and please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, hit the bell icon so that you can get uh, the notification when i'm posting new video and also like and share with your community yeah thanks take care bye for now see you in the next video